Hi guys, welcome back to the DevOps tutorial and today we are going to learn the liveness in Kubernetes. To understand the liveness in Kubernetes, let's take an example here. Suppose your application, uh, suppose you create one application and that application is suddenly stopped but your container pods are running fine, means your infrastructure is working fine but your application is not responding, means user not able to access your application. So to solve these problems, uh, Kubernetes provides one functionality is called liveness props so liveness prop what it will do it will continuously check your health of your applications that running inside your pods container and once like it's showing the health is fail means health is negative so what it will do it will recreate a one container again with same configuration so this is the functionality of liveness prop we can see in this figure we can see here the green is means that the, your application is running fine but sometimes because of memory leak or because of any issue your application is not responding so the health check means liveness props is continuous check check the health of your application and once the your health is not proper means it will check that it's not responding or it's not working so what it will be do it will create a new container so your application is continuously up and running so this is the biggest advantage and all applications that are running in the market have that contain the health check functionality. So we can execute two types of liveness with the help of like commands that run continuously in your container or with the help of we can check the HTTP request that continuously check the HTTP request if working fine or not. Okay. Uh, so guys let's start to create a liveness probe with the help of commands that this command will be executed inside your containers so with the help of command we can check the application is healthy or not so this is the script that we have written for liveness command example so in this script we are checking uh, we are taking the version v1 and what kind of object is pod metadata contain the information about your pods like name and labels so this is the name of your pod is liveness exec and specification contain containers and liveness pod. In container we have defined the image. This is our busybox image and argument we are passing the commands. So this will be in SH where we are logging into the containers. After that one we are creating a one temporary file with the help of touch command and once this command will execute the next command is execute is sleep 30 second. So it will sleep for 30 second and after 30 seconds it will remove the our healthy file okay then again it will sleep for 600 seconds then our liveness prop liveness prop contain exec command and one command is cat cat is generally using to display the content present in the file okay so with the help of this command cat temp and healthy so this command will check the content of your healthy file okay so what happened after 30 second means before 30 second it will check the file is present and it will show the content if present but what happened after 30 second we are removing the file so the liveness props that this is the our healthy command it is going fail means it will not find this healthy file so what it will give the message it will say that your application is not working so it will restart your containers means it will create a new containers with same configuration and what is the meaning of initial delay so this liveness prop will call after 30 second means first time it will call after 30 second and after it will call every 5 second so this is the command okay so let's go to the terminal and execute this command one by one so execute this script and let's understand how is recreate the command okay so how it recreate the containers so we are in the terminal now let's check logging we are logging here super user permission clear let's check our minikube is running fine or not okay so we already set up the minikube in our terminal so to check that one kubectl get pods okay no pods are there 
okay now what we need to do we need to create a one liveness file you can define any name here yml okay and in this file we have to pass this script okay here we are again uh, understand version v1 what kind of object is pod okay name of the pod is liveness exec specification contain containers and liveness pod and uh, we are passing the argument is create one healthy file in temp folder after 30 second it will remove the healthy file and again it will wait for 60 sec uh, 600 second now the liveness pod will continuously check your file that healthy file is present or not if it is not present it will give the response is that the application is not running you need to re uh, recreate the pod okay so let's save these things ls the file is present now to run this file we have the command is kubectl create hyphen f name of your yml file and we can see here one pod is created okay let's go to the describe kubectl describe pod so in this command describe command we can check all the events of our pod so this is our name of pod There is some mistake in the spelling. We can see here events. Okay, first it will check like it will define the default scheduler. Then it will start pulling the image of busy box. After pull the image, it will create the container and container will start. Okay, now let's execute this again. See the thirty second is finished. So what happened? I will help check the liveness probe will continue checking that the file is present or not so we can see here liveness probe is failed and it give the message can't find this health healthy file okay so it give the message that the healthy file is not present so it will give the uh, like is the pod is not healthy so it will recreate the pod so if you want to check we have the command is let's clear the terminal first CTL get pods so we can see here our liveness pod is in ready condition is running condition and restart is one means our pod is restarted because once the liveness command is failed it will restart the container so let's check again okay then go to the events after some times is again fail So kubectl describe the pods. Okay. So we can see here again it's showing the same things. Restart it once. So once the time is comes means it will create the one file and again it will clear that file. So just wait for a few minutes and check the restart status yeah so restart status 2 means again he can't find the files so again he restart the pods so kubectl describe the pods we can see here just now in within 18 second he just pulled the image of busy box so this is the way we can check the liveness of your application and once it is failed or it may be uh, not responding so with the help of liveness pod it will recreate the your pod and we'll continue these things we'll continue uh, regarding the next topic regarding how to liveness with http request so please guys like and subscribe my youtube channel for more upcoming videos thank you